<laughs> Welcome back to Robin Minds. It is now time for some entertainment. You know that we all need a good laugh every now and then, considering everything that is happening around us. And it's so amazing to see that content creation is now such a huge market. A lot of jobs have been created just from content creation. Uh, joining me in the studio, not in the studio, from Abuja Studio, is a stand-up comedian. He's also an actor on a very popular TV series, my flatmates um, is Dan the Humorous. How are you, sir? How are you? How are you? You're <laughs> that is that is that is Dan's slogan. So if you're confused right now, uh, just know that I'm not breaking character. All right, that's how he sounds. How are you? That's his slogan. How are you, sir? Oh, I'm good. I'm good. Thank you for having me here. It's good to have you. So. Let's dive straight into it. We now live in a world where everybody has mobile phones. You know, there's this internet culture. We're watching from comedy skits to stand-up comedy clips. Uh, can you just tell us how lucrative this content creation business is? Oh, um, it's very, very lucrative indeed. I mean, um, when you look at the evolution of the art from you know, the medieval days and the archival days to the, um, the past centuries, to the 60s, 70s, and thereabout, it has moved from one point to the other. And the beautiful thing about this generation that we're in now is the fact that um, your, let me use the word for lack of a better one, your blowing um, doesn't have to be location-based, you know, so you don't have to go work for a particular network you don't have to be part of a certain production, unlike before. You don't have to be necessarily part of um, maybe a theater troupe or a comedy group that goes on tour or something like that. You can, from the convenience and comfort of your home with your you know, smartphone, with a good camera, and then you know, put up some nice content, put it up on the various social media platforms, and as long as they are good content, they provide the right um, entertainment or the right um, education, uh, depending yeah. on the audience that it intends to um, get to, it goes viral, it spreads within the relevant network and even much more. And that brings you to a point of relevance and value. So it's indeed a blessing to this generation, I must say, because, I mean, imagine as an actor in the days of um, Habat Ogunde, um, yeah. how it could have taken you several auditions before... Um, you were part of the theater troupe, or even the beginning of Nollywood, you know, how people would have gone, to, gone through several auditions and everything to, you know, make it. But now you see somebody comes up with a skit and, you know, it does so well. And then before you know what's happening, that person gains the attention of uh, movie, movie producers or, you know, TV show producers and the like. So it's a blessing yeah. indeed to this generation. I agree with you totally. Um, just a follow-up question. So can you tell us how it has contributed to the Nigerian economy? Because sometimes I feel like entertainment is not rated as much as it should, as a major contributor. So can you just enlighten us on how much, you know, not just comedy, content generally has contributed to the GDP of this country? Oh, well, um, I, am, I am sure I may not be furnished necessarily with the exact numbers when it comes to Naira and Kobo, but I can, when you look at the human resources involved, when you look at the persons and the personnel um, involved, it, begin, it tells you how much people or, 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 or labor um, or how much persons have been taken out of the job market, out of the labor market, if they didn't have access, you know, to the internet. Now, look at all the various guys um, out there. Look at the macaronis, the livelies, the shaggies, the nasty blacks, and all of them. If there was no social media space or internet space or Mark Angel, you know, to mention, uh, not even to mention, but if you to mention a lot, you know, what would have been their place in the entertainment industry? And don't forget that for every one talent that you see, out here, like you see down the humors out here, there's probably a uh, staff strength of about maybe three, four, five and more uh, persons involved. So imagine if that one person didn't have that opportunity, um, what would have been the um, opportunities open to all those other two, three, four, five persons yeah. that are, you know, connected um, to them? You understand okay. what I'm saying? So Let's take it off from there. Yeah. The fact that it has taken a number of people involved you know, in the system and in the game 
goes to show you that um, these people are earning money, these people are paying taxes, these people are spending money, they are paying their bills. So naturally, the economy is being oiled, you know, to a reasonable extent by this person. So it has contributed immensely, you know, to the development of the Nigerian economy. Okay, so I'm going to pick it up from a statement you made. You, you mentioned some very viral internet stars, Brother Shaggy, Nasty Black. There, there's been an ongoing conversation. I think even a couple of weeks back, it was a major conversation about the OGs before IG versus oh. the new guys, <laughs> yeah. the newbies. And for clarity's sake, when I say OG before IGs, we're talking about the people you know that had the platform before the internet um, became before. Online skits became a thing. Uh, so can you just, how, how, how do we marry the situation? Because, it, in fact, first of all, let's, even tr let's go deep into the, the matter. Do you think there are certain people that feel like youngsters have it easy because of the internet now? Yeah, I very much agree with that, that um, youngsters have it easy because of the internet now. And, you know, like I said, probably in my opening statement, that is a, is a blessing to this uh, generation. It's a blessing to our time. We are not complaining, you know, or these kids are not complaining because I think I'm one of the last, la the last breed of the OGs, so to speak, you know. So the person who made that post actually had a valid point. And the point he made, like I also said in my opening statement, what would have been the fate of, you know, actors when we had only one television network in Nigeria? What would have been the fate of, you know, aspiring uh, 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 theater people when we had only the likes of one traveling theater in Nigeria? You know, you understand what I'm saying? But mm. now we come to a point where, do you, courtesy of the internet, there are more options, there are wider options. So what would have taken you probably a number of months a couple of auditions, a couple yeah. of trying to go to certain offices to beg for opportunity, took okay. you only a few minutes and a few uh, megabytes or gigabytes on your, on your phone data to go up on the internet and you are everywhere, you know? So that post was not actually downplaying on the skills and talents of the newbies, as we want to put them, but to show that, look, these OGs, as it were, you know, they went through the hard stuff. They, 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 they went through the rough patch. You know, it's, yeah. just like, um, it's just like you warm your food with fire and another person is warming their food with microwave. Or, I mean, now you have things like air fryer. You have machines that are, that are called rice cooker. Okay. So, I mean, compared to the people who, um, who boiled rice with yeah. firewood... And the people who have rice cooker that is electronically plugged. <laughs> okay. you know. At the end I of the day, we, we all have boiled rice now. together. But the process you yeah. know, is a bit different. All right. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Um, you've made your points. The OGs before IGs, you're hardworking. And of course, because of the internet, the newbies, you're also not less hardworking. I think we're all good now, right, Dan? Absolutely. Fantastic. Yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, thank you so much for coming on the show. Uh, I know you have a show in Abuja on Tuesday. Um, so good luck with that show. Absolutely. All right. Transcope Hilton Hotel. Um, I think I'll end it here before you yep. pay for an advert. Yes, I'll just end it here. Yeah, but there will be a lot of OGs and newbies. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Thank you so much for coming <laughs> on the show, Dan the Humorous. And good luck with your show on Tuesday. Appreciate, Hero. Appreciate. <laughs> All right. Um, it's been an amazing time on Robin Minds. We've had very amazing guests, and I, I'm sure that I'm not the only one that have had fun with the show. I'll catch you next week, same time, same station. But before I leave you, remember, your best days are ahead of you and not behind. Bye. Say, hey, hey.